So I started to watch the Republican debate. So I have a lot of right-wing wacko friends at work. And I love the guys. I like them. I don't agree with them about anything. But they're, they're basically good people. I don't know if they know any better. I don't even know what a good person is. That's above my pay grade. In any case, I sat down and tried to watch this debate last night on a YouTuber. And it starts out, I think it's Maria Bartiromo and that goofy looking Italian guy on Fox. I don't remember his name. Um, in any case, he starts in and they start talking questions about the economy. And they ask Ted Cruz the first question. So that's interesting that they ask Ted first. So Ted starts going in, they ask him about the economy, and the first thing is he goes in is how I, in Iran, there was these hostages that were made to vow and commit that they were wrong, blah, 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 that that wouldn't happen. Under his in, in, and he made this very emotional, stirring type of speech, uh, intimating or uh, that it was because Obama was weak and there was no leadership and that wouldn't happen. And then he went and said, and gave no answer as to how they were going to fix the economy or even what was wrong with the economy. Then they asked Mr. Kasich and Mr. Kasich bragged on what a good job he had done in Congress and what a good job compared to other states that he had done. And he said that we needed to return, we need to have discipline and so we needed austerity. He pretty much said that we need to cut the budget. Um, so yeah. And I pretty much turned it off. Because let me explain something to you. The two biggest things that have happened during my adult life. Number one, we've seen the expansion of the U.S. military. And we have used the military to go over, overthrow countries and loot them. And at the same time, our country, our industry has been shipped overseas to China and India. And our by massive scale, and there is no industry here. So if you cut taxes, there is no there is no industry to build here. It needs to be rebuilt. And only one to exception, and I couldn't sit through all these guys. Only one exception in the whole Republican uh, uh, field will, will will deal with that issue. And we need to rebuild America. It has to be rebuilt. And if it takes taking over the banks, taking over the corp, you know, the banks and the corporations have 17 or 18 trillion dollars on their books. And all they're doing is taking that money and employing people overseas and holding it at their accounts. They're doing nothing with it. So there's your def budget deficit problem solved right there. But that's not going to happen, okay? I understand that. But that wasn't even discussed. It wasn't discussed that is in the case of the Iran situation that they had a they had a leader that was toppled in 1956 that was trying to help his his people and that since that time we have been pretty much uh, off and on t overthrowing countries, installing dictators, propping up dictators, helping the Saudi Arabians attack people, spreading Wahhabism. And anytime there's anybody who has any kind of friendly government to people and trying to help people, we topple them. That was not even discussed. There's no context whatsoever in that debate. And it's not going to be any context. Nothing's going to help. We're going to keep spending trillions and trillions of dollars on airplanes that don't work to fight enemies that don't exist. And we're going to continually scaring people to death over nothing. And that's what's going to happen. Okay, so I don't listen. I don't care. If people are too stupid to figure out what's going on, far be it for little old me to keep them informed. Well, I'm glad I got that off my chest.